Hi, everybody. This is Lily from Biopsych, and today I have Chandler Thomas with me as my guest. Say hi. Hey, how's it going, everyone? So, Chandler, please tell me a little bit about yourself. Yeah, so thanks for having me. First and foremost, Lily, it's an honor and a blessing to be here. Um, and just a little bit about myself. So I'm originally from Indianapolis, Indiana. I've been in Los Angeles almost going on six years now in May. Um, I'm actually an event consultant. So what I do, I help coaches have six to seven figure days using virtual events. Um, and super excited to share that with you guys today. Awesome. Wow. So tell me a little bit more about your business. Is it a program? Is it a course? How do you do this? Yeah, so it's it's more of a uh, done with you format. Uh, we don't just give you a program or give you like step. We give you steps, but essentially we're walking you guys from step one all the way to step, you know, step Z or step one to, to, to 10, really giving you all the tools you need. But alongside as being a consultant, like I'm actually on the calls with you, right? So when we have the virtual event, I'm actually the MC and host and you're able to be that star that you are um and the event so it's like um it's not like any like most people don't do this they kind of give you the framework and they give you the tools to say hey good luck you know and then charge you for that no we get our hands in the you know in the trenches with you guys get our hands dirty uh we're really showing you all the steps that we do but also we do the, the events with you so it's a done with you it's like we hold your hand throughout the entire process so it's like oh that's all i have to do is show up and give my stories yes we do everything else <laughs> Wow, that's incredible. That's really great. I think that coaches who are ready to scale their business through webinars and speak really need this because it can be very scary to go out and do webinars and speak, especially the first couple of times. You know, you're like shaking. Sure. Did you do this right? You know, do you have your presentation right? What if the, what if there's a tech problem? What if, you know, the PowerPoint dies? What if the light yeah. goes? <laughs> It's so what many things, do? It's so many things and, and people are afraid and like the, the, the good thing about it, we do all the heavy lifting. So like, you don't have to be a tech person. Um, and, and along with it, it's like, we make it simple. So you, you just get on there and just speak. And for those who are afraid of speaking, you know, when you're, when you're doing a virtual zoom call, it's just really like you look at the camera. So it's like, no one's around you. If you're probably just in your room and, and it's so much easier to scale your business when you're selling one to many to one-to-one, to one, right? Saving you a lot of time, energy, and effort. Because uh, our message and our, our motto is work less, profit more, so you can positively impact the world. Wow, that is really great. And you are definitely right, because doing one-to-one -one sales calls is a killer and takes so much time when you can just speak to a bunch of people at the same time and have them sign up. So that is really, really awesome. So if you could tell our viewers or teach our viewers one thing, what would that be? The one thing I want to teach your viewers is how to go from being an informational speaker to a transformational speaker, right? How to properly run a virtual event as a coach or consultant. And the biggest thing that what we have learned is that most speakers and most coaches just, you know, host tons of events and just get them on the, on the on the webinar or Zoom call and just talk about how great they are, right? I'm great. I have all these accolades. I went to all this schooling. I know all these things. I've helped all these clients. This is why I'm great by my product or coaching program. And we see why so many people are failing at this method, because when you're the one always saying how great you are, it really diminishes, you know, the, that power or that impact. But when you're actually having other people like myself and, you know, some testimonials of people edifying you saying, hey, this is what I've gotten or this is what this is how I was able to transform working with Lily as my coach. Right. This is how I've been able to you know, transform my life. This is what I've been able to do. This is why Lily is so great, right? And then I come on and say, hey, she's doing X, Y, and Z. She's doing this. This is her background. She's the one of the most amazing uh, coaches I've ever spent, have, you know, spent time with in my life. You guys need to really listen to what she has to say. And this is who she is. Boom. 
background. And everyone's like, whoa, like <laughs> this is different because it's almost like, you know, when you go to the movie theater, right? They don't, when you first, when the, when this said you ever go to an eight o'clock movie, they don't start the movie at eight o'clock, right? They, <laughs> they give you all the preview and I'm actually a preview guy. So I'm one of those guys that got to get there early. I want to see the preview. So like if, if the movie starts at eight and you're one of those who to get there at 830, me and you can't go to the movies together. I'm sorry. Um, but, <laughs> you know, I want to say, so they give you the previews and they give all, they kind of like, they're massaging you before they give you the meat, right? They, so just like you go to a concert, right? When you go see, let's say, you know, RIP Michael Jackson, right? When you go to a, his concert, that's not the first person you're going to see. Let's say everyone's going crazy right now because Beyonce is going on tour, right? And her tickets are extremely high for a mm -hmm. concert. Three thousand, four thousand, five thousand dollars for a concert. It's like, hey, go put a down payment on your business or something. Do some, you know, buy something else. But anyway, <laughs> um, but you know, when you have these kinds, she's not going to be the first. You know, these people aren't going to be the first that come out to stage. You have a DJ. You have a, you know, you have a, you know, the, the opening acts. You have all these things that you have to warm the crowd up to, get them in that mood, and then present. And that's what we do on these virtual events because it's a movie, right? Because a movie is essentially to move you from a to z right from mm -hmm. to gains from my mentor says from from broke joe to woke joe right we have to move you right and it's a special framework that we actually do and it's it's called sound bites and it goes in three points it goes from like it goes i so i was here doing the thing and something happened to you have any of you ever felt this before have anyone ever been in this situation have any of us have had a webinar or a summit or a, you know a situation and weren't able to get results right have you ever did that and then we go into the point and that's like the whole point of your story mm -hmm. and then you go into they so hey they didn't want you to be successful they you know and and they are you know they could be them or you know anyone else that's you know the protagonist people who are going against your message all right mm -hmm why they don't want you to win. And it's very simple. It can be, you create a, a they because everyone can choose to be on your side to not be on the bad side. And then mm -hmm. you finish mm -hmm. off what we call a, a sound bite, which is a, the, the, it's like the, the quote or the, the mic drop or the big, the, 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 mm -hmm. the everyone's going to be like, whoa. So you give them in that format and that framework. And when you're giving your stories and, and you're like, wow like everyone's in this because everyone's like this like they're in they're in the camera like what's this what's next what's next and you drop the bomb <laughs> and they're like oh my gosh lily's the best coach ever you know and what we do is is create raving fans for you as a coach to have forever they might not buy that day they might not buy the next day but they'll be buying next year the next year after that because they they love how you make them feel <laughs> So, so that sounds incredible. You make coaches pop and stand out. And that's really, that's really incredible because that's a really good marketing technique. I mean, like, uh, to be honest, I once saw this post on Facebook just once. I've never seen it as, again, mm -hmm. where it said it was like a picture taken from a car on yeah. a highway. Hmm. And that that huge post said quality erection <laughs> and then the construction company. And I was just I was just stuck on that. And I was like, if ever I'm going to be building a house, I'm going to go for quality erections because that's what I remember. <laughs> right. So this is awesome that you make a coach pop like this, because as you say, they might not buy here. They might not buy now, today or tomorrow but they're stuck in, in the mind, you know, they, they have you in their mind and they are ready at one point. And when they are ready, they remember you. So that is super incredible. And so would you, on top of that, not to cut you off, but it's like, not only may they, they might not buy tonight or tomorrow, but they're going to be marketing for you as well. They're going to be like, man, I felt they're going to be online telling their friends. They're going to be reposting all your posts. They're going to be uh, really doing all the things for you for free now because you made them feel good, right? And that's what's better as a coach 
than free marketing from potential clients or clients that you work with, right? It's like crazy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Exactly. I totally agree. Referrals is one of the strongest tools when it comes to marketing. Definitely. So if you could, <clears throat> if you could define your clients, what type of clients do you work with? Is it any clients uh, or is it specific clients? Because, you know, would a business exec could come up to you and say, hey, I need your help. Would you say, yeah, maybe not the greatest match or hell yeah, let's do this. What are you doing? <laughs> Like, yes. what uh, do you work with? Great question. So what we typically work with is coaches and consultants, right? Right now, we haven't expanded to the business, um, like businesses yet, but we will be probably in the future. But when we actually break down the coaches and consultants, we actually are very, very, you know, particular who we work with uh, because of how our model is set up, right? So we like to work with like emerging or, or really established coaches, Right. And within the established coaches, like they already have an offer, right? They're already, you know, working with clients. They're, they've probably already ran virtual events in the past, right? And they just haven't had the success that they want, right? They, you know, they're they're doing well, but they want to do better. Right. So mm -hmm. we but we work with, right? We help um, when it comes to the events, actually running the events, we actually work focus on that for you know high level coaches, people who are already established. But for those emerging coaches or new coaches who want to be able to get to that level and work with this and build up to that level, we have tools, we have systems, we have all that in place to work with them to be able to get to that level where they actually can run events with us. So who is our type, you know, our target audience or, you know, you know, ideal client avatar uh, is typically, you know, for events only, it's for uh, high level coaches right? They have an email list that's, you know, 10,000 or more people. Um, they, they have a proven offer that's already been selling that they have clients in their current program. That's, you know, at least 10 K and they, you know, proven testimonials that people can speak on what they're doing. But the most important thing, right? The most important thing is that they want to create a positive impact in the world, right? Because we believe that all money is not good money. Right. And we rather have our name attached to people that are wanting to grow and, you know, and actually bless their clients, not just have them just wanting to get money or or to come up. You know, we want people that want to really positively impact the world, not just today, but forevermore. Well, that makes a lot of sense. And it does make sense that, you know, you should be a client who already has a program because working with a client starting from scratch, working to build a program first, it's just gonna take way longer to get them to where they want to be. So that makes a lot of sense that working with high ticket coaches, coaches who already have a program, or just say coaches who are ready to scale in that spectrum, because you know, you need to come from somewhere. You need to have something to scale, to be able mm -hmm. to scale. So that really makes sense. And also, you, you know, you're right. All money is not good money because we do experience coaches who are just doing it for the money. And, you know, that kind of falls flat because why are you a coach in the start? Like, why, why did you start up a coaching business if you're not doing it to help people, to impact people, to influence people and to help people you know, get a better life quality one way or the other, right? I agree, hundred percent. Because you know, at the end of the day, we our our events are are very magnetizing and alluring, and and it really moves people in a positive way. So we want to ensure that everyone that we work with is not trying to mislead people, right? Because we don't want any clients to come back to us and say, "Hey, this coach so and so." you know, it's been a month and we haven't even heard from them. Like what? Like we haven't, you know, we, we yeah. pay this money, but we don't know where we're getting. So we want to ensure that that doesn't, those are things that happen. That's why we actually, you know, we screen everyone we, we, before we work with them, we screen and process before we actually start doing business with them. Ah, very smart. So you guys do have like a, a process before you decide whether or not to work with a client. That's really awesome. So this actually just makes you even more valuable, <laughs> a completely high ticket right there. So yeah. what 
if you were to recommend someone who's watching this and say, okay, I want to get to the point where I, I can go into business with, with him, he's awesome. What book would you recommend them to start off with? What, what would you recommend them do? Like, what, yeah. how so, do they start? Oh man, I have a few books right over here too. And it's always like fun deciding which one I'm going to talk about. Um, but, <laughs> you know, one of the biggest things and um, for us, like before even putting those steps together, right, is the, you know, building out your platform, right? So having that foundation, right? Having that, um, that, that groundwork saying like you already, already a coach, you've already had clients, you have ran them through their program. Even if you ran them through your program for free, right? And they got results, doesn't matter if they paid you or not, but you got results from what you're selling and you have people that say, hey, yeah, this actually works. That's the foundation. And then building the email list. One of the biggest things I've saw from an SC day to day is that a lot of coaches don't have an email list at all. Like they don't have any people to market to. And if you have no one to market to, how you plan on selling anything to, you know, them? because if you <laughs> sell to everyone, you'll sell to no one, right? Yeah. And, you know, one of the biggest books um, I, I would suggest, you know, when it comes to properly understanding business and it comes to uh, properly understanding, you know, your mindset, uh, there's so many, but, you know, one of the ones that focus strictly on, um, strictly on what we do is, is right here called uh, The Million Dollar Speaker, right? By Joel Wilder, right? I actually have a few copies if people want those, but that's one that actually gave us the framework of what we're doing today. Um, and, you know, giving us the understanding of how to be able to build that. So that's one of the ones I would suggest today. Wow, that's a really good book. So that's definitely going into the comments so people can find it. And if they if they have a hard time or they want to do it the easy way, they can reach out to you and, and ask you for a copy. I have two copies right here I'm willing to give out. So, ooh, better race to get the books, guys. Yeah. <laughs> so anything else you would like to add that I haven't uh, asked you about or I forgot because Sometimes my brain goes to mush. <laughs> I'm sorry. Likewise. Um, one of the biggest things I would say, too, that I probably haven't went over or talked about is, you know, how to actually go about, you know, one, the importance of an email list, uh, two, how to build it, how to be marketing yourself as a coach online, um, and how to get in position. So essentially, I say for everyone I speak to is how to get in position where, you're making that income a month to start scaling your business because a lot of coaches are working in their business, not on their business, right? They don't have the right system in place. They don't have the email list. They don't have all the things and they're just kind of just spitting things out. Like if you're wanting to grow your business, if you want to scale and you want to get to the point where you can have virtual events, you know, that's, you know, that's where you have to get you to the point where you can do it. Um, there's so many things, man, that, that, that I've seen, um, and, you know, in the coaching industry is, it's understanding where you need help. What are you good at and what are you not good at? And being able to bring the right people in, is it the right coach, right? Is it the right person? Cause all these coaches are doing 12 different things. They're the email marketer. They're the, you know, they're the copywriter, they're the, the salesperson, they're the coach. They're doing all these different jobs. But don't, but don't, are not scaling their business because they're the kind of a bottleneck. If they're trying to do everything by themselves, you know, it just slows the process down. So I say, if you want to move, they said, they will always say, if you want to move fast, move alone. But if you want to move far, move together, move in a group, right? And if you bring people in to actually help your business, that's when you guys start seeing your success because, you know, we believe that, you know, for coaching, you don't want to be spending your entire life behind a computer stuck and become a slave. That's why a lot of people left their nine to five jobs, right? That's why a lot of people moved away from nine to five jobs. They want to have that freedom and that time freedom. So within that, it's like, let's build that in your business. Virtual events is one way that can definitely do that for you. And then it's so many other ways, but it's like find the right systems, uh, put the right things in place. Um, and then we get a coach that can help you, right? I have coaches. I work with as well. So I always find the right coach that can help you. I think that is a really valuable uh, point you're making because I see that too. I see coaches look at their clients and say, ask for help. 
But initially, they also have to remember to look at themselves and say, when did I ask for help? Um, so I grew up uh, in a business industry, which means that a lot of my family members are, are business owners or have been business owners. So we end up having a family accountant. And the most valuable advice my accountant gave me was actually do what you do best, become an expert in that and leave the rest of the task to other experts. Facts. That's how you build a business. And I was just like, okay, you're right. I see that now, you know, and, yeah. and that was because I was doing the bookkeeping and he said, you're good at bookkeeping but you're better at talking. So do what you do best, talk and let us do the bookkeeping because you're just mm -hmm. wasting your time. And the, the, the two hours a day you're spending on bookkeeping, you could have been spending that on getting uh, clients, creating sales. And I was like, okay, you're right. So it is true. As a coach, we need to constantly evolve and improve because we're asking our clients to constantly evolve and improve, right? So I completely, I'm totally agreeing with you on that. I also work with coaches on a daily basis. I have five coaches, two mindset coaches, two strategy coaches, and a mentor that helps me on my personal and, and professional level, because you're right, we can't do, do this alone. As you said, you wanna move fast, move alone. You wanna move far, move as a group, right? Right. And also my mentor always says this too, is that, you know, stop if, if you're, let's say your hourly rate is a thousand dollars an hour, right. To sit down with you or whatever. Um, and you're doing like $15 an hour task or $10 an hour task that you could hire someone else to do to get that wouldn't slow you down. That then let's say if it's writing an email or doing something small that you can hire a VA to do. Have them do that so you can get back to helping more clients and making $1,000 an hour compared to doing $15 an hour task. And that's what the difference <clears throat> that can now literally expand your business. Mm, exactly. Wow, that is super, super valuable. So as a viewer, if, if I have my viewers say, this guy is super cool, how do I reach out to him? <laughs> So where are you, where do they look to find you? Where can they where can they reach you? Yeah, so you can actually go to my website and I'm actually mm -hmm. gonna spell it. So it's www.eliteevents, right? Eliteeventslive.com, right? So all one word, eliteeventslive.com slash Chandler, right? So that's where you can find me online. Also, all social media platforms, so Instagram, Facebook, uh, LinkedIn, under my name, Chandler Thomas. Um, also, for link, uh, for Instagram, it's Chandler.Thomas underscore. So very simple. Just type my name, and you should see this beautiful face right here smiling at you. <laughs> yeah, so, um, yeah, so pretty easy to find me. Oh, great. All right, guys. You know how amazing he is. You know what he can do for you. You know what you need for him to be able to work with you. And you know where to find him. So tune in, reach out. And thank you so much for being my guest. Thank you for having me. Uh, appreciate it. Awesome. And there we go. <laughs>